my production people, this is Sean here from Audio Biz. Today's edition of Red Beard's Reviews are brought to you by QSC. Today we're going to be talking about the new KS118 3600 watt active subwoofer. If you need more bump or thump in your production, you're not going to want to miss this video. Hey guys, Travis from Audio Biz here, and I've always wanted to crash a Red Beard review, so I'm here with Sean today. What do we got here? This is the newest active subwoofer from QSC. It's the KS118. Wow. It kicks ass. And you're a huge QSC fan. You're using that in all your productions. I do. I use it, you know, for any of the production stuff I do. I got KW181s, KLA, Wideline, PLD amplifiers, the whole nine yards. I'm a huge QSC fan. And what do you think of the KS118? When I got this, I set it up in the shop and this thing blows me away. Like, I was just amazed. You're not very easily blown away. Either. I am not easily blown away. I am a huge proponent of low end. It's all about that bass. In my opinion, you can never have too much low end. You can never have too much low end. So, QSC is known for power. What kind of power are we working with? So, 3600 watts out of a Class D amplifier. It's, it's powering a single 18-inch uh, subwoofer. Okay. Um, you know, that's 1600 watts over the previous sub, the KW181. And that thing has been a standard for DJs, house of worship, mobile production. It's been well loved. This is just gonna slide right in and be loved also. So I presume uh, it can be installed as well? Yep, yeah, installations, you know, house of worship. It's got a couple of different configurations. You can set it, stand it up, lay it on its side, so it and can fit with a bunch of different compatible options. with K.2 and CP series speakers? Yep, it'll also work with the KLA. You know, it's got, you know, crossover points and stuff for some of the other legacy stuff, KW series, KLA, you know, the whole cool. yards. It looks like QSC's stuck to their quality model as far as a wood cabinet, stainless steel grill, yep. low noise casters, easy to move around. Easy to move around. It's, you know, again, it's a joy. Um, you know, it's, it's solid construction. You know, it's not a cheap, flimsy plastic cabinet or anything like that. It's a real pro grade speaker. Cool. So in Redbeard's reviews, you usually go into uh, a little in depth in some of the presets, maybe the DSPs. Uh, you want to take me through that? Yep. Awesome. Let's do it. Awesome. Well, that was easy to turn around. It was. It's just like <laughs> magic. It's just poof. Gigs are just like that for me. I Loading. just snap my finger and it's there. It's uh, super it's, easy. Snap it. It's out. Like I should patent that. So this uh, display here looks very familiar to me as I use. K.2s and CP series all the time. So yep, it's going to give you a lot of the same kind of output. So you, you know, we got our our inputs, and we also have a through. So if you are stacking like K.2s on top, you can just run a single signal, um, either come from the K down to the sub or into the sub and up to the K. Okay. I saw the pole mount here. Pole mount there. So you just you're gonna screw on the pole mount, and, and away you go. Awesome. So in here, um, you got a couple different things. So you got your crossover points. So you can actually tailor the crossover point for what you've uh, got on top. So if you're using KLA, you're using KW, K.2, there's a couple different options in there for you. Okay, seems pretty easy. Yep, you also have delay. Uh, which is huge. Um, this was something that we didn't have in the KW181s before. So you can time align your system. Maybe I'm trying to delay to a kick drum, or if I don't have the perfect setup, I, you know, I can actually delay one stack to be aligned with each other and not have any phase cancellation. Okay. So one of the other cool things that's in here um, is deep mode. So deep mode uh, just gives you that low, low, low end. You know, think of it as a turbocharger for your low end. It just uh, allows you to get really deep bass without having to crank the SPL. So if you're in a place where you have to keep it a little bit quieter but you want a little bit more thump, uh, you can put it in deep. Did mode. we talk about how much power is coming through? We did. It, well, it, just to remind you, 3600 watts. So it's like 1600 watts more than a KW181. So it just gobs and gobs more power. Awesome. Um, you know, next up on here is actually some of the presets for um, cardioid setup. So okay. that's one cool thing. I don't know if you've ever messed around with a cardioid setup, but it's complicated. It is complicated. There's typically math involved, and you know, when you're at a show, you don't want to think about math. So QSE made it super easy. You go in there. There's a cardioid mode, and it's set up based on how the subwoofer is facing. So. This right now, uh, wheels are facing the audience here. So this is the rear is facing the okay. audience. So I just go in here under the menu, under cardioid, and I go down to rear and hit enter. And I load that. Well, that was easy. Yep. And then my, my sub that it's stacked down be, uh, below that you can't really see, um, 
we would go into the cardioid menu and say that that's facing forward. forward. That's it. That's so I, I don't have to do. to do any math. You don't. To set up a cardioid cell. Yeah, and there's a couple ways of setting up the cardioid. You can stack them like we've got here. You can do them side by side. You can do them wheels facing each other. There's uh, some documentation you can download from our website or QSC that gives okay. you some good, better, best options. But it's anywhere from 11 dB down to 15 dB down uh, rejection on that cardioid pattern. So what that really means is if you want to keep the low end off the stage, you can do that. Put it in a cardioid mode and it's going to direct more of that low frequency out towards the audience. Keep it off the stage. It makes it super This awesome. thing sounds super flexible, super powerful, really easy to set up. If somebody wants to get a demo or figure out where to buy this baby, uh, where do they go? www.audiobiz.com. You can reach out to us. We can we can hook up a demo for you. Can I just type in an email? I want more lows, and you'll know what I mean. Yes, I want more lows. Or you can yeah, headline all about that base. You know, we can do that. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for letting me uh, join you on the Red Beards reviews. I had a lot of fun. All right. I'm, I'm glad you were here. You know, normally behind the camera, and I yeah. have to be out here, and it takes many different. Yeah. You know, well, I enjoy your uh, your reviews and your tech knowledge. So uh, uh, maybe I'll join you for one in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more of my snaps, and like this is gonna magically disappear or something like that. So okay. Let, let's just <laughs> shoot this up. Oh, whoa. That's not right. <laughs> no. Go again. <sighs> Much better. Much better. <laughs> Sub's uh, still here, but you know. Well, uh. try one more time. Okay. See you guys next time on Red Beard Reviews.